Hello, hello, hello. It is Color Me Bad Lynn back with another segment of Dear Color Me. But before we get into our question of the day, I've got two, but we'll see if we'll get to the second one. But before I get to that, I want to welcome you back to my channel. Welcome back. Glad to have you. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Color Me Bad Lynn. I am a licensed cosmetology uh, cosmetologist. A beauty professional, a beauty expert, beauty lover. Uh, on my video, we will talk about fragrances and give reviews on them. Those that I have in my collection and in my wish list. Uh, we will also talk about natural skincare, uh, natural beauty. We will talk about weaves, wigs, makeup, love, romance, and faith. And whatever else you want to talk about, all right? So let's get into it. But I, again, want to welcome you back to my channel. I am so excited. This question has been lingering and it was sent to me uh, by a young lady. Um, and we've been corresponding back and forth through email. Um, she did say that it was okay for me to come on and ask this question and share it with you all. Uh, I myself have dealt with a similar situation, almost identical. And so I wanted to come on and share what advice I gave to uh, this young lady. All right. So the letter reads, Dear Color Me. Dear Color Me, I've heard you mention on several videos that you are divorced. Yes, I am, happily. So I thought you could help. I am currently legally married. I've filed for divorce several times, and he refuses to sign the papers. He has obviously found someone else because he has obtained a marriage license in another state. And from what I've heard and been informed, he has even set a date to be married, I assume. She says, I'm not upset that he's moved on. My issue is still that we are still legal. I'm still legally bound to him. And I myself would like to move on. The pastor who is scheduled to marry him and the said witch reached out to me to verify if we were still married and I told him yes. He then asked if I would fax him a copy of the marriage license. Where do I start to resolve this mess? Well, there are a lot of things that you could do. Um, I wouldn't waste my time on dealing with the situation that he has going on in a totally um, different state. Um, what I would do um, and what I did do, I had a similar situation, almost identical to the person who sent in this question, um, is I would just file for a divorce again. Um, you may want to get a lawyer, you may not. Uh, I personally did not obtain a lawyer uh, for my situation. I represented myself. Um, and there is something that a judge will grant you. It is called a no signature divorce. Um, and so you would just want to go to um, your local authorities like the county and the municipality or the county that you live in where you would go and file those types of documentations wherever you went before to file. Um, you want to go into their offices and you want to ask for a um, documentation to file a divorce without legal representation. They will give you all the paperwork that you need. Now, if you go that route, you have to remember that if you're not a lawyer, you have to be able to read and understand that paperwork yourself. Um, there is little to no assistance from the legal office there in the county that you live in. You may get someone that will help you along the way. But if you're going to represent yourself, you have really got to read that documentation yourself um, and, uh, and go from there. And hopefully the judge, once you get an opportunity to get in front of them, will grant you what, we, what they call a no signature divorce. Now, as far as dealing with the situation of your soon to be uh, ex um, in reference to him obtaining a marriage license um, in another state that is up to you how you would like to proceed legally with that um, it is illegal 
it is illegal in the state that you were married in you and that person and it's also illegal in the state of where they obtained a uh, marriage license documentation um, while still being married to someone else in another state I'm sure that there are different states that um, it's not illegal but from what I read um, in the letter and the email that you sent me it is illegal in both states so if you want to handle that option legally yourself that's definitely up to you um, if you're anything like I am and like I was when I went through this similar situation I could care less you know I just wanted my daddy's name back so that was just my way of dealing with the situation I just wanted to get uh, things taken care of and over with as soon as possible it is an extremely lengthy process when you represent yourself so you do have to have gr a great deal of patience um, because if you're not a lawyer you're gonna fill out some paperwork sometimes and it'll be incorrect and anything that you sign fill out an answer on that documentation that is incorrect will get kicked back to you um, and so you have to make sure that you stay on top of your documentation and paperwork because if you miss any of those dates and deadlines when they send that information back to you um, and hopefully it doesn't go to the wrong address you have to make sure that you correct that information and get it back to the um, the legal uh, office in your area within the date that they stamp on that paperwork or you have to start all over from the beginning so you definitely have to stay on top of um, that in that realm but if you can afford to get an attorney and if it's worth it if there is property involved um, and things of that nature then yeah definitely I would you know recommend if you can afford to get a lawyer then you could get a lawyer I went the route that I went um, because for one um, my situation was that there was a refusal of signature for one and then for two um, he didn't have anything for me to want or to ask for um, so the only person that had property or anything was myself and so with that I didn't I didn't need a lawyer for that I you know and so um, and when I went before the judge the judge did grant me a no signature um, divorce so that is a thing um, it is possible um, and like I said you have to be patient and go through the process it is an extremely lengthy process if you're doing it yourself um, and if you're really not good and well versed at reading documentation and being able to uh, interpret it and understand it then I will go with the route of getting a lawyer it'll be easy for you and it'll be less stressful um, but yes I represented myself in handling a situation similar to yours and you can get it done without a signature um, especially on the grounds of the issues that you're having um, definitely definitely so I wish you good luck in that situation and we have been in correspondence with one another so we'll keep in touch all right Godspeed all right my next question is an easy question very light on the sauce um, this one is a question someone just asked me color me <laughs> have you ever been in love absolutely I've been in love uh, once I've been in love once and I'm kind of moving into I'm kind of I'm almost there now um, I didn't think that that was possible but yeah I've, I've been in love once yeah I've been in love once and so it's good so yes the answer to your question is yes well that does it for this session of dear color me I hope I didn't keep you guys uh, that long um, but definitely um, we want to send our love out to um, that particular one of my subscribers that sent that letter to me in question about a situation that she's dealing with um, and wanted to um, to get a divorce and um, not able to because the person that she was is married to refuses to sign the paperwork and has then gone on and obtained a marriage license in an entire different state um, so just so you guys know things like that do happen I experienced a similar situation and so I wanted to come on and answer um, that question um, because there are a lot of people out here that have experience that are dealt with it and may have dealt with it and maybe going through it and just don't know it um, you know it's a very weird situation uh, because my thought was when I went through something similar was if you want to move on I wanted to move on of course uh, and so if you want to move on 
then move on and be fair about it and just sign the paperwork. You know, so, yeah, but that is a crime. It is a crime in both states. It's a crime in the state that you were married in initially, and then it is a crime in the state that you obtain another um, marriage license in. So that's not a good idea. It's really good to um, go ahead and take care of and handle one issue first before you try and move on to something else. I don't even know why anybody would think to do anything like that. That's the weirdest thing I've ever experienced in my life. But, yes, people do that. Um, and it has hap it happened to me. I went through it. I'm, I definitely, like I said, I was able to obtain a divorce, um, a disillusion of marriage with no signature granted by the judge. But it was an extremely lengthy, lengthy process. And I did represent myself. So, yeah, but you can make it through that. I wanted to come on and talk about that because there are so many issues like this in, um, in the world and in life that people go through. Um, and they don't have anybody to ask questions about this or they may go through it alone and just don't know where to turn to and you know I'm glad that I was able to provide that information I also provided her with some additional information um, I know some places and assistance that she can get in the area she lives in that will help her go, go through her transition a lot smoother than I did um, so definitely want to reach out and help as many people as we can so I want to come online and answer that question um, before and then once everything is all settled celebrate all right all right thank you guys for tuning in to dear color me this is our section of dear color me or segment of dear color me for the week i want to thank everybody for tuning in i am very very grateful to have this platform to come on and help answer questions not just about hair and beauty and and life love and faith but anything that you want to ask me Send it my way and I'll do my very best to answer your question. I've been through a lot of things and I've come out on the other end victorious and I'm here to help assist and answer. Um, and if I don't have the answer, I'll direct you in the right direction. All right. All right. God bless, guys. Peace.